Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the old captain, the voice of WKORN, coming to you from beautiful Chattahoochee, Florida. To the, you'll see in the um, film here, we see the Woodruff Dam. Uh, above that dam is Lake Seminole, and it becomes the Apalachicola River at this point, and it flows south under the Victory Bridge and then on into the Gulf of Mexico. We're here today, we've been here for a couple of days, some have been here longer than others, but our main purpose for here was to participate in the first ever Florida First Fishing Folly sponsored by the Carp Anglers Group. We've got several dignitaries on hand, and one of the first things that we've been requested to do is to speak to, to Tracy, Dr. Ian Murray's beautiful wife. So as I introduce you, if you'll speak to speak to Tracy, I would appreciate it. First we have Miss Rachel Kinsler from downtown Enterprise, Alabama. Nice to meet you, Tracy. And the ever popular, the best carp angler in Georgia, Michael Big Bird Strickland. Hello, Tracy. Glad you let him come. And then we have our daddy. This is James Blackberry Holly. He's the father of Big Bird and, and the old captain. Hi, Tracy. And then in the high chair back here, uh, this is Tim, Cool Dad Gill. How do you do, Tracy? And Tracy, you may you may recognize this young man. This is your husband. <laughs> no, I'm not her husband. <laughs> I'm her lover. Did you not know that? Hi, <laughs> right, sweetheart. Kick the husband out. I'm coming home soon. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Tracy. Uh, this, this is Sam. This is Lee. Hey, Tracy. And a dear, dear friend of mine, Derek Cox. Hello, Tracy. All right, folks. We've been fishing, like I said, for a couple of days. And the first fishing folly actually started at, um, at midnight last night. And we've had, you know, some of the best anglers in Georgia here. But for some reason, there's only been one fish caught. And, and statistically, you would think that the best carp fishermen in Georgia would have caught that fish. Big Bird, how much did your fish weigh? Zero pounds, twelve ounces. <laughs> wait, wait now, would you would you repeat that, please? Mine was zero pounds and zero ounces. Okay, so I guess what you're saying is you didn't catch one. I did not catch it. Okay, um, cool dad. Could you explain that who, if he didn't, who did? Well, who caught the first fish? Uh, I think who caught the only, only fish. fish. That's right. It was that carptimonious person himself. Old captain. Oh, my, and the crowd goes. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll have to admit. I'll, I'll have to admit. I would not have caught this fish had it not been from assist from my coach. I was sitting there. It was about 4:15 this morning. Jerome, the water temperature was 48 degrees. For your information, the fish weighed 12 pounds and five ounces. But I'm sitting there, and I hear a Beep, 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 beep. And I said, Rachel, what do I do? And she says, I said, pick it up. There's a fish on there. <laughs> and I did. And the rest, as they say, is history. So, folks, the cream comes to the top. You know, truth always stands. And once again, we've had a wonderful time with the captain and the crew reporting live from the Apalachicola River in downtown Chattahoochee, Florida. This is the voice of WKRN, K-O-R-N, signing off. Y'all come see us.